What is going on YouTube? Uh, it is a fine day after Christmas. Merry Christmas to everybody. Hope everybody had an amazing Christmas time. Um, I know I did. We had a we had a blast here. Just rolling through, unfortunate, our, it's sort of unfortunate, but our spot here, um, yeah, this is, this is our spot that we normally get to race at. It's all shut down. No go, no more, not really. And, uh, I'm getting some parts here. My, my buddy Steve hooked me up with a uh, cable bracket, shift cable bracket. So we got some stuff to do to the Zephyr today. And I uh, just wanted to, to just put out a video. We went to dig or die this past Friday and Saturday. And oh my God, how amazing. It was just absolutely an absolute blast. I left my camera with the, I changed my SD card out from uh, from my GoPro into the other camera because the other camera died and I left it in my buddy Clifton's uh, Car and so he shipped everything back to me I should be receiving it tomorrow and putting that video out as soon as I can get all the all the footage There are a ton. I just got a little bit of stuff um, I really did a, a, a full walkthrough of the pits to show uh, what all cars were there and I, you know, I, I tried to record a little bit of the racing as much as I could. I mean, it got cold, it got long. It was just a, it was a great time. Uh, but you've got Street Racing Channel, uh, Tucci Racing, and Spooled Media. Those are probably going to be three of your top ones there um, that have some amazing video of of those things, of those uh, those races, and and the race that was going on. Um, I believe Clifton put out a, a little teaser video uh, for the street stuff that went on. We had some amazing street stuff the night before, and it was just it was just an absolutely awesome time. I mean, I it was like the the Christmas present because like my mom gave me money for Christmas and said, "Here you go, buy stuff." And I, I always struggle getting something from her. And uh, well, I, that was really it. It was my trip down to 710 Dragway to dig or die. Um, got to meet up with a bunch of people talk with a bunch of people uh didn't get to talk to people i wanted to i wanted like like everything to talk to turbo john uh he just seems like an awesome dude if you haven't followed him turbo john here on youtube he has some super informative videos he has taught me a lot on, in his videos about a lot of different things some stuff that i knew but he really goes into depth explaining what all he's doing and what all he's got going on and he has a bad ride and i mean an absolute bad ride so it, it just there's so much that was going on that day it was absolutely awesome i got shirts uh from my dude handicapped um i'll show you those shirts shirts here in a little bit you know i just got i got super pumped to be able to go and do some race car stuff so day after christmas we actually took off work today which was surprising but we did we took off today it's supposed to be taken off tomorrow and so i'm going to try like everything to get the car ready to take to uh, get wired. So it's pretty awesome. I'm pretty pumped. I love these days um, where you're like, I don't know, you're sort of supposed to be working, but you're not. And like, it's supposed to be freezing cold, but it's actually like 60 some degrees. I can't see what's that. What, what is it? Well, it said, it says 49, but I don't believe that's correct because the sun's out and it's absolutely beautiful outside. So, um, it's so nice today just an awesome day after christmas and so um which happy new year to everybody it is going to be an awesome new year we've got a lot of things going on um poor whitey poor whitey is uh battery is dead now so i've got to charge it up and going to be changing the tires out of it on it um i really was was dying to have whitey there on saturday and, and friday not that it would have done anything good it's just i enjoy racing and um, i really hate just being the video guy so it is what it is but um, we're gonna do some stuff today get some stuff lined out on the zephyr probably put the drive shaft in um, get some things lined out because then tomorrow i'm gonna be taking it back to the house and uh, trying to get some uh, exhaust and some charge pipes welded up um, i did some tig welding last night and it was okay, but not great. So I've got to uh, I've got to get better at it. So I've got to I'm probably going to run to Harbor Freight right now and go grab some stuff. Well, actually, I've got to run by the shop first, and then we uh, yeah we're going to be doing some things on the Zephyr here. Jimmy should be up. Maybe see Levi. 
Uh, it's been a been a been a minute since I saw them. I ain't seen neither of them since Sunday morning. So it's uh, man, it's just been an awesome weekend. Awesome, awesome weekend. Start of the week. Uh, get a, had a good day of work on Monday. Got a bunch done, and then you know Christmas Eve, Christmas Day was just amazing. Uh, my boy. I'll, I'll throw a clip in of my boy. He got a little Burromax electric uh, dirt bike, and it was awesome. He's super pumped about it. Okay, go ahead. It is electric, so it doesn't have a motor, so it's not going to make a bunch of loud noises. But it does go. It does go pretty fast. You got a dirt bike! Yay! What, what do, do you, you think? think? Is that the color you wanted? It's something that if he's not able to use, we can actually use it in a bunch of different things. And I've also got another project coming for the channel, which I'm super pumped about. I made a post up on Facebook. Somebody responded immediately, and I'm not going to show you that, but when we go to take the Zephyr, we'll be coming back with a, pro a project for the channel that we're going to be doing and uh, getting cleaned up and nice, and, and you'll just have to see it whenever you see it. Also, while we were at Digger Die, Another person came to me that also is involved with another project that I've got coming. The other project that is going to be LS Swap, and it is a go for us to go pick it up. So we can go pick all of that stuff up, and we've got two new projects coming for the channel, which I am super pumped about. So 2020 is going to be on fire. Um, it's just going to be awesome. So, all right, let's go. Let's go get some stuff done today. That's like six minutes worth of me rambling. I apologize. It's just. You know, I'm super excited. Uh, you know, it's race car time. It's 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 crunch time. Even though it's not even January yet, this is when you have to be getting your stuff together so that you can be ready to race. We've got racing going on in March. I've got to be testing hardcore in March and April. We've got a big race that I'd love to make a good showing at. So it's gonna be just just lit. I can't wait. I'm so pumped. So let's get some stuff done. Status update. We didn't accomplish anything. <laughs> no, not, not a thing. I've been here for an hour and a half, and we haven't done anything. Not a thing. Drive shaft. Glad we glad we didn't paint it flesh colored. Uh, too long. Shifter. Selling it. If anybody needs a Hearst quarter stick rear exit shifter, it's right there. It's for sale. I'll sell it for a deal. I want a different shifter. I don't want to have to deal with the rear exit stuff. I did get this in here. <laughs> We got a battery. We got a battery in here now. And, uh... If you would have painted it for uh, long, it's too long, it would be a unfortunate series. Of yeah, games. dude, it would have been bad. I had to cut it down. Be like be like Charlie. Charlie the puppy. Have to cut it down. But, uh, pump these up. Hopefully to get this thing, um, to the house. Well, we figured out that our 90 is going to shoot us almost exactly where we need. Because if you take it and put this thing down here like this. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, it's gonna come out right perfect. I'm excited, I'm excited for it. And that's about it. That's really it. I mean, I didn't get too much. I mean, I knew that this was gonna happen, but uh, don't have any bolts for the starter. So I gotta get bolts for the starter. And uh, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it, Levi. Where am I gonna put, let's see if we can figure out where I'm gonna put this uh, transmission fluid cooler. Let's check that out. Let's go see what it is now dark and green in here, but we have a hole cut for an exhaust. Hopefully to come out in this area somewhere. Batteries in. Uh, we got the oil feed line done. I'm pretty much doing whatever I can. Um, tighten some things down. 
forgot to get this mounted. Um, I'll be doing some more tomorrow, hopefully. But uh, uh, da, 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 da. we got this going where we wanted it to, and um, so yeah, getting some stuff, getting it some some places. <laughs> battery is in oh uh trans cooler is mounted underneath as well so we are good hopefully we'll be doing some more stuff tomorrow and getting her getting her more lined out i gotta crank the uh suspension up on this thing it's way too low all right so what is going on guys is a couple days later we have the zephyr back in my garage uh we got the heater going i'm sure you can hear it um it's a mess let me turn you around here. You see Zephyr's here. Uh, you know, we've had Christmas and New Year's and all that good stuff, and it's just been crazy. My work has just been nuts for the, the day job. And so we did get to go to Harbor Freight and get a couple things to try and get the exhaust and the intake piping done, um, the turbo piping done on this car. So here just show you. Didn't have a belt sander, got it, got me a stool and uh there's some other stuff that we got uh that the wife got me which i know this is really good in here don't worry it's drafty enough to where it vents properly there's the engine bay uh actually this i didn't get this is the father-in-law's borrowed it and um yeah i did get some cool stuff for christmas nice milwaukee set and what was the other thing oh yeah uh got one of these from harbor freight <laughs> and i know i got something else uh the wifey did me a solid and jump over these parts bought me an alpha tig 201 xd and uh it's not been going so hot um i hate even showing these but yeah it's it's just not going so hot um i mean some of it's okay some of it's not but i'm not really worried about it being too pretty I just want it to be able to hold air. Um, I've really got to clean the garage up, but you know, it's one of them things. It is what it is. So uh, I'm putting some of these things together and like I was sitting back and I cut some stuff with a bandsaw and I'm like, man, I can't get this, can't get these pipes uh, to work. It's like, I can't get a good flat surface. And then I was talking to a friend, AJ Luckett, who does some welding, I think. and. Uh, he's like, do you have a, a belt or a disc sander? And I'm like, no. And I, that's when I realized just now I bought this. Why am I not using it? So I'm going to put this together, get these pipes sanded down, and hopefully try and throw a couple TIG welds. I'm doing some practice runs before I end up screwing a bunch of piping up and buying even more stuff. But, uh, yeah. So uh, air is finally holding in this tire somehow, and I'm pumped about it. But uh, we did get some other stuff uh i've got to get that out because that's sold but got a starter for the car and uh yeah so things are coming along it's just taking me a little bit of time but hopefully we'll be getting you know getting some some stuff going on with it here before too long um it's getting dirty in here though i don't like that like ew ew gross not cool, but yep. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna keep sanding away and see if I can get some uh, some good looking pipe. Cause like my problem right now with the fitment, as you can see, fitment's not great. Let's see if I can get this right. It's sort of hard to do with one hand, but cut it with a bandsaw, which is way better than any way that I've cut so far. But I guess as long as you have a belt sander it doesn't really matter because you could just make the cut you know make it a lot cleaner i guess so yeah it's if you get it tight over here you can see it opens up over here but anyways uh let's get to it i got this finally sanded down nice and clean so that's due to that thing so it's, please excuse all the mess it is what it is i've got to get time to uh to do all this and it's either clean or work on stuff, and so I've got to work on stuff. Sorry. So, let's get to it. All right, so don't make fun. First off, don't make fun. But I got some stuff welded up. Just a test piece. 
and uh, I'm quite pleased with it. Before, this is what I was getting done. Terrible, terrible stuff. I just, it was wrong, it was bad. I mean, I thought I was getting somewhere with that. It's just horrible. So moving from that to this, much better. Not very good right here. I um, forgot to turn the argon on when I first started. That's where I first started. But then after that, it's not terrible. I mean, you can see got a little hot right here, a little cold there. <laughs> this is getting really nice right here, but you can almost tell whenever I have to turn it. So I just need to learn, you know, it got really dirty right here, as you can see. Um, I must have got a little far away from the from the uh, weld, but it's uh, it's getting there. So what I'm going to do now, I guess, is I'm going to I'm gonna start cleaning on the pipe for the actual car that I've got and uh, start getting some things welded up. Uh, and I've also bought something, bought a couple things, uh, some stuff. This unit, we'll take this to the car tonight. I'm excited. I'm gonna be making, making some steps. And shout out to uh, one of my friends, Ronald Young. I got AEM wideband. Booyah. So, and officially taking the car next week to get wired. So this dude is super pumped right now. So let's get, let's get to it, uh, and get some more stuff done. But, uh, so this will probably be part one of this. And, uh, so like, comment, subscribe, all those good things. Uh, this is going to be a long enough video. Uh, I just got back in here this a couple days later. And so I'm, I'm going to throw a, uh, I'm going to throw all the rest of this stuff of me cleaning this up and getting all this stuff together and welding this up into the next video. So I do appreciate everybody watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.